Okay, so the purpose of this video basically is to show you what my desktop looks like. So I have Elementary OS installed as my host operating system. And um, this should also work for Ubuntu. So say for example, I want to play a game, I just play it on Linux as I normally would. And if the game is not available on Linux or the software for the game is not available on Linux, I simply um, or say, say for example, the Oculus uh, Quest, what I simply do is I open up a virtual machine, which I've mistyped, um, and I run that. Now what happens is the host operating system is now releasing the graphics card, letting go of it, and it's going to get picked up by Windows in the virtual machine. So that should pop up on the screen here. Uh, boot times vary for everybody. Uh, basically just based on the setup. So we see Tiano Core here, that means that it's working. Now I have just changed uh, some of my setup, so when you change anything in the virtual machine, um, it takes longer to boot, obviously the first time, because it's, it's getting ready with the uh, with different drivers and, and different setup configurations. Okay, so that should be done. Let's see it get passed onto this screen in a second. Okay. Now again, you can tweak this obviously to make the, the boot faster. Um, there is a BIOS built into the um, there is a UEFI BIOS inside uh, this virtual machine as well. So there we go. Loading up. Awesome. Now, I probably have a couple of bits of software installed that are going to try uh, start first before me. Let's uh, just load a game so you can see what it looks like. I can also load um, the graphics profile here on the other screen while we're going. I don't mean to rush so much, I just want to make sure that the video is not too long and I'd rather not have any gaps in this section so that you know exactly what's going on. Uh, there's no uh, jiggly pokery going on. Obviously not looking to go very fast at the moment. Again, you can you can customize all of this. This is just because I've been changing things. Um, I also have a limitation on this at the moment uh, because I can only pass through uh, either four USB 3 um, devices or six USB 2 devices. And um, I would rather send back a lot more than that if I can. Instead, what I do is I can create a bunch of profiles. So you can see here on my left screen um, that we have the latest software running for uh, the Radeon driver. Now we're opening up uh, good old games. Okay. There's Cyberpunk. Let's open that. And hit play. There we go, the cyberpunk's loading up. We're gonna see now the game moving around just so you can get an idea of what the frames look like. It should be pretty exact as long as you've set the, the CPU to the correct um, to the correct configuration. And um, because the graphics card is is the actual graphics card being passed through using the PCI pass-through. quick save on this because I already installed this. Okay, continue. 
to level load up. Now while that's loading, I might as well say that basically on, on my system what I have is um, an SSD with uh, elementary installed. And then besides that, I have a three terabyte uh, hard drive that actually has this VM installed on it. And with the way that I've done it myself, I can boot either into the VM this way, or I can actually dual boot straight into Windows as well from the same image. So I don't um, lose any information. Um, it's also handy in case, uh, in case something goes wrong. Here we are. You can see that's a uh, Cyberpunk installed on, on Linux. And this also works with the Oculus Quest, so I have um, uh, what you call it, a uh, virtual desktop running, uh, the virtual desktop streamer running on this software, or sorry, on this VM. And what that allows me to do then is to play the Quest games through the Oculus Store or through the Steam Store. No problem at all, works perfect. Okay, so what we'll do now is we'll just close it off. So we'll just go in and we, we shut down. You can also see there that obviously the three screens work together, which is, is, is something people ask about uh, sometimes on whether th this would, would still function. It does obviously because the whole graphics card has been handed to the virtual machine. You can see now that I'm just going to type my password. You can see that the uh, host operating system came back no problem. 